Okay, so here's everything that I've used. Steal your mom's super glue or go buy it for like a dollar. Get yourself the cheapest case. I got this for $3. Use your old wallet. Maybe your dad has an old wallet that he doesn't want. Scissors around the house. With that, you'll be able to create a wallet case for your device. Even if you don't have a Nexus 5, you still have an idea of what you could do. So you can get yourself a case for whatever phone you have and you'll be able to slap on one of these. Do it yourself. How's it going YouTube? It's me the cool loser. It's a case for my Nexus 5. Got it off of Amazon for like three bucks total. And it is definitely a thin case. I personally don't like using cases on phones because it takes away from the design and feel. I'm gonna make an exception this time because use my phone as a wallet. I'm getting rid of my wallet. I have a picture of me getting all my cards out now, half of the cards that I use uh, are on my Google Wallet. The only thing I need to carry is my ID, my Big Al's card, and my debit. I don't want to carry this wallet anymore. It used to be, like, pretty fat wallet. And what I want to do is build a do-it-yourself wallet. Okay, we're going to slap it in the case. Snaps in, and there she be. So we are protected, in a sense, with this case here. As we can see, it is cut out for all the ports. The same feeling of the back of my Nexus phone. It still looks good, it's still small. I, I can feel like I can carry this around. Say this is my ID or my debit card. Uh, let's see how easy this is to get off. Not very easy, so that's a little bit of a good sign. Um, I could put this card most likely behind here. And There we go, it actually worked. Uh, now I have my ID or debit card back there. I don't have to carry my wallet anymore, I can always just rely on my phone. But that's one way of like getting rid of your wallet, I can put in my ID card, because your card and or gonna carry your ID card at all times. So what I'm gonna be doing is using this case, old wallet of mine, I want to cut out this right here and glue it in the back of this case where it's going to be really strong enough to like stay on there so therefore when it's in the back of this I, I can slide in my card I'm not going to always have the case so I'll only slap on the case when I want to go outside I will be reviewing some of the cases that already have a flip cover and the ability to set some in the back or inside the flip cover for now I'm going to make my do-it-yourself style to see uh, since this is cost me three bucks and this wallet I bought years ago so it's not gonna cost me anything other than maybe buying the glue if you don't have that so we're gonna see how it turns out and hopefully uh, it does pretty good so what I have right here is Gorilla super glue it's an old one that I've had I so the only thing I bought is this three dollars for a case and then we got some pretty strong scissors no little scissors might not cut this start cutting long not too long but the half of this Goodbye wallet, you've been served me well. Watch my finger in the back. Okay, almost there. Okay, so that's cut off. So now, better refinement, fix it a lot better. Let's start cutting up a little bit. So this is just me trying to avoid spending money, more money than I want. And it's not going to be pretty, but at least I'm doing something <laughs> for the people who like to be crafty or who are really cheap like me and want to just save two or three extra dollars. I refined it a little bit down to, you know, a little better looking type there. So now this is going to be in the back of here. It's not going to cover the flash. Stick it on like that. So therefore when I ever go out, I don't have to carry this bulk anymore. I can just end up sliding my cards in here. Then I can just slide it in my pocket and when I bust out my phone, I can just whoop them out. So that's the whole mission of why I have a case. Not necessarily for protection, although it would. I didn't want to glue it on my Nexus. I mean, imagine me just gluing it on right there. Good enough for me. I didn't previously try this. This is just going as I'm going. So you guys are going to witness a failure or it working out for me. Okay. There. 
I don't know if there's a best way to glue something, but this is the way I'm going to do it. I want to make sure that it stays on there too. I don't want to add too much where it's out the seams, which that might be an out the seam thing. Probably add something here in the middle, or at least like on the sides here. Oh, but now I got some on my hands. And now I'm going to just stick it on. Okay, I'm going to put a little bit more glue in this top part. Put some on the bottom of that. Slowly just squeeze you up to make sure that the backs. Yeah, I don't know if this is gonna work exactly, but hey, it's a trial. I don't care if it doesn't end up working. It was just more like trying it out. And maybe this video won't upload. <laughs> it's not gonna be too pretty though, remember that. And it's probably a good idea to slap something on here to keep it pressed down. I mean, super glue dries pretty quick. Put some weight on it. This is not heavy enough, but at least it's have some weight and equal pressure on it. And then I'll come back to it. I'm getting rid of my wallet. I don't want to carry my wallet anymore. I want it to be all on my cell phone in one pocket. So you see I have three items there and I even have a little pocket right here. I got five bucks in there so that will, you know, at least remain in there. And it's not gonna fall out like you literally have to bang it pretty hard that's what she said for them to fall out and it's not like i'm gonna have to always use this case i can just slap it on when i'm ready to head out the house like well i gotta go guys and then we have the wallet intact within here instead of having to advertise or show that you have a card or people seeing some information on what cards you're carrying you maybe slide it in here or if you cut another portion out of the wallet, like this one, this one would allow your all your cards to be hidden completely in there. So you could have maybe, instead of having those ones, you can add that one. So I have another one just in case I want to do it for the next phone. It's not uncomfortable to hold. It still hides behind the case. And you see that it's actually pretty on there pretty tight. I would have to literally pry it off but the glue's only been on for around 40 minutes as of today i can finally drop my wallet no longer have to carry this and now i have this working for my phone and it's not thick at all you can still reach and do everything on my phone might not look as sexy as you would want it to but hey it's definitely gonna work for me yes there are cases that you could buy i'm just trying to avoid the bulk and i just want it to work and cheaper than going that route it's on there pretty tight which is pretty cool because you also get that protection if you want to you know try a case <laughs> you'll be able to to just slap it on and you're good doesn't look uncomfortable as you see it's still sitting on the table just fine now uh, I like it if you want to get crafty and go super cheap mode like how I am like I said everything is in my Google Wallet and I have my credit cards and debit cards and gift cards all in here I can use as pay and go so you know obviously you can pay and go and until all the stores are capable of using pay and go as an Apple pay you know uh, I won't need to carry these anymore. I can literally just start paying everything with just my phone like that. So until then, I will carry this case because I still have to carry my ID regardless. If you liked it, you know what to do. Spread the word of the cool loser, and I will see you guys next time. Later.